Hey, this is Ebony Bailey with Diamond Cut Media here with Atlanta Owns RPXL. Yeah, go ahead yeah, and yeah, introduce what's going yourself. On, man? What? Go by the name of RPXL. Just drop my debut album, Atlanta's Burning, April 19th. Go get that if you haven't tapped in. Let's go. So, if you haven't already heard of Mr. RPXL, he just dropped his debut tape, Atlanta is Burning, back last month in April. Let's go ahead and get into that. Now, go ahead and get into that title alone. What does that mean for you? Uh, man, Atlanta's burning, man. We're just in a time where, you know, of course Atlanta's one of the meccas and we're looked at as this, you know, big city, which we are. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of real life problems going on in the city as well that we're not addressing. So I just wanted to, you know, kind of just spark the mind with, with that with that title and shit. So when people, you know, listen to it, they more so get a perspective of where I'm coming from. And I love that even on the debut track, um, you had the newscaster going over some of the stories about um, people that got shot, the crime that was going on in the city. So it was very commemorative, you know, not just to the title, to the overall feel that you was trying to give towards just the city and your music. So let me ask, what is your personal favorite from Atlanta's brand? My personal favorite? It changes every day. But, I love that. But right now, I'm going to have to say L.A. for the week just because okay. you know, I'm going to be in my bag when that song be on. Okay, okay. Now that is one of my favorites too. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, one for you and one for me. Come on now. Now, one of my other favorites is Jamaican Bandanas. And who is you? I'm going to drop the top and turn this head into a cook. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and, that, and that was a whole fucking bar right yeah. there. I love it. So, on that was Miss Lex Andretti. Mm -hmm. I instantly became a fan when I heard her verse. Go ahead and like tell me about how that collab came up. Uh, I, I've been a fan of Lex, man. Um, she one of uh, Sosa's artists, man. So I, I I peeped up on her like a couple years ago, and um, I just reached out a couple months ago, you know, probably like a year ago, and just see if you know she wanted to do a song, and uh, we negotiated some things, and yeah, we got that shit going. I sent the verse out, I mean, sent the song out, and she went crazy. She sent that shit. I love it. Love it. Now, she wasn't the only one that, you know, blessed the tape. Mm -hmm. Tell me about some of the other people you know that was involved in the process. Uh, got my boy Blood Work, great R&B artist based in Long Beach, California right now. One of the best. He, he the future of this shit. And that. Intentions was yeah. fire with him on it. I love it. Yeah, yeah he, he brought that spark. I just laid out the verse and I sent it to him and he made that shit into a whole record. So, man, shout to that man. I really yes. I, I got love for him for sure. So, we got Atlanta Burning already out. Now, what are we about to get into next? A uh, whole bunch of videos coming out. Uh, LA for the Week video coming next. Might be out by the time this is out. You know, we'll see. Come on now. Um, we got uh, EP dropping next month. I mean, actually not next month. Actually, you know, it is next month. June, right before my birthday call, I Came From Immigrants. Going to be about four songs. But four songs I recorded throughout last year. And Miami and California, so okay. a lot of perspective on these joints for sure. Now, okay, I came from immigrants, Jamaica mm -hmm. bandana, so obviously we got some cultural influence in there. Yes, so, yes. how important is that for you to include that in your music? It's so important because I just need, you know, I, I like representation and growing up, there were like Jamaican artists, um, Jamaican American artists I've seen. But not really to the point where like, oh damn, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't I got something to like claim. So, you know, just giving that representation in a way, because you know in the city in the A, you don't really think of Jamaicans. You mm -hmm. know, but I know this plenty of Jamaicans are saying Stone Mountain. Plenty of Jamaicans are in Jonesboro. But they don't really pop out and make it on the scene here because, you know, representation. Well, since you already in your own lane, how did you get into this lane? How do we get what made RPXL? The record we have right here. Um, a lot of failure, a lot of you know, mm. a lot of L's, but you know, two L's make a W. So you know mm. what I'm saying? So man, just just learn from my lessons and shit like that. Just trying to grow as an artist, you know. A lot of I had a lot of honest friends that told me my shit wasn't hot and you know, and you know, and now we here. So yeah. So I'm just now I'm at a point where I wanna showcase that I wanted the best, you know what I'm saying? I really think I am, so And you're giving that. Mm. Now you gave us one style. What other styles of music can we hear from you? Um, another R&B project for sure. I did a Mr. Romantic first in 2022, like last year. Um, but now that I got like more like of a fan base, I want to kind of get back into that and show my diversity. Because if you're if you're first hearing Atlanta's burning, you probably think of one, you know, angle of me. But I got plenty of other, 
you know, styles and shit I can pick from. So, so by saying you have many other styles, what would you consider your style of music? Uh, I consider on um, my guard just because I can't really stay in one pocket for too long unless I get bored. My brain, like, it just, it got to do something else or else I'm just be stagnant. So, um, by having avant-garde music means you have a large range of artists that have probably influenced Yes, yes, plenty. Tell me about them. Uh, man, as a kid, man, people like Missy Elliott, man, mm -hmm. people like Dennis Brown. Um, a lot of reggae and dance hall been playing in the crib. So a lot of that, you know, Mountain Killer shit like that. And then a lot of American shit. I was fucking with Jeezy. Um, I was fucking with Gucci. I was uh, fucking with Outkast, of course. I was fucking with the South Florida shit. Um, uh, you know, Rick Ross gonna play. Uh, R&B, Etta Barnes. Uh, shit, rock music, Coldplay, Foo Fighters, and shit like that. Like, So there's a lot of shit I didn't listen to growing up, you know. I love that. Yeah. I love that. So, when is the next time we're gonna be able to hear this live? Uh, psh, we just got booked for the festival at Cribs After Dark for hey. July. So you can catch me there, um, early July, July seventh. Um, and then mark your calendars. Yeah, mark your goddamn calendars. And then um, <laughs> we got New York. The date I was show in New York platform, uh, NYC. And then um, we had London at the end of the year, so yeah. Here, backtrack, Data Heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that. What is that? Um, Data Heart, man, it's a, it's a label, man. Uh, started by, well, based in Atlanta and in uh, London, England. So, uh, I love that. So, yeah, man, it's just really a brotherhood more than anything, but it's good heart of people in the digital era, man. So, we just try to do good business with everybody and just make sure everyone eats. We, we death push entrepreneurship, and that's what we're on. Make sure the artists are making money their own way. Like, so it sounds like anything y'all already international. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. that. Okay, so that means we're gonna be hearing new music. We're gonna be seeing new visuals. We're gonna get some performances. So we about to get a full RIP excel. Yeah, yeah, no, a lot of new shit coming out for for Data Heart soon. As far as merch, um, I got physicals for the Atlanta's burning coming soon. Yes. Um, shit, we got a. Uh, we're eventually gonna turn Data Heart to a distribution company. So we're just trying to get that shit in order behind the scenes and stuff. So like y'all trying to get out as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, Love basically, it. yeah, man. That's how it Well, while you're here, go ahead and drop your social so they can get to know you now. All right, uh, Instagram at RIPXL. You know how it's spelled, RIPXL. Um, Twitter is RLPXL because them bastards at Twitter don't want to give me the handle. So we don't, <laughs> we don't talk to Elon about that shit. Um, yeah, man, I'm on RP, Excel, Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Music, everything else, man. Yeah, and at that, I'll follow them to turn up. And make sure you check out Atlanta is Burning on all major streaming platforms. Go ahead and drop into that now. Again, this has been your girl, Ebony Bailey, with Diamond Cut Media here with Atlanta Song RP, XL. Yeah. So go ahead and tap into that now. Signing out.